This is Bob Anderson, and I am doing a monthly update. Is this? I just finished my first full month of my Apex Trader Funding Live account because uh, today is September fourteenth, two thousand and twenty-two, and I started my live account on August fifteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Um, again, just. For those of you that don't know, I do this part-time, um, normally between 8.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time and 10.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time is when I look for my trades. I have one particular trade that I that I take. It's a continuation trade is what I call it. It uh, <clears throat> On a normal day in those time frames, my setup that I'm looking for might hit three, four times, um, and I'm using one contract, and I'm trying to get basically five points. Um, anyways, and, and after a point and a half, my stop goes to even, so I have a lot that recoil back, knock me out at even, that kind of stuff. So that's a little background on kind of what I've done since August 15th. Um, and so I just want to talk about my results for the last three days, because I hadn't done a video since last week, but on the 12th, I made 150 bucks, <laughs> 150 bucks. Um, I don't even remember why it was 150 bucks. It was Monday, and in my business, Monday is by far the busiest day, because everybody's had the weekend to think about stuff, and they're always calling me. So my guess is probably that was it. I probably got distracted quite a bit uh, on Monday. Yesterday, the 13th, I had, uh, you'd have thought it was Friday the 13th. I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was a rhythmic problem or, or maybe my internet service was having a problem. I don't know what happened, but I had two trades that set up that I, you know, entered, you know, with my drag and drop of my, of my, uh, buy stops or my sell stops and uh the pricing would keep moving on my screen but the trade wasn't executing and then when it would execute it would then close me right out and it happened to me twice on the morning of the 13th i want to talk about that for just a minute because um the cumulative loss on those uh, two trades without me even knowing what was going on was uh, $400, $400. <clears throat> so I, uh, when it happened a second time, I went into SIM mode and I started trading in SIM mode just to see if, you know, if the glitch was over and stuff and it, and it did. And yesterday was the, mar was the day the market really, you know, really tanked because I'm, Apparently, everybody was shocked that there's inflation. <laughs> I wasn't shocked, but Wall Street was shocked. Anyways, um, so <clears throat> um, I was able to recover. I think I took three more trades after I was down $400. Uh, you guys know that my conservative strategy is to never be is to never put me in a situation that I'm down like that much money. That's that's not even in the realm of my of my trading model. But I had no control over the entries and the exits, and sadly enough, both those trades went straight against me. And uh, anyways, so I was able to recover uh, is the point, and I think I think I think I took three more trades, one to get me right out out to even. One that I ended up uh, getting knocked out at a couple ticks, and then one fight, one that went, one that took off, and whatever. But I ended up with five hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents yesterday after starting off four hundred dollars in the hole, completely out of my control. Um, yeah, you know, but I will, I will tell you this, okay? Um, two things. Number one. I stayed calm. Um, I recognized that these losses were not because of my trading. They were not because of me. 
I evaluated the situation. I went into sim mode to see if, if it's working again, that my, that my, my entries are going in right, my targets are going in right, that kind of stuff. And then, and when the answer was yes, everything seemed to be working again, I went back into my live account and I focused and uh, hyper-focused is what I call it. I hyper-focused for the proper trades and I hit them and I had three winners in a row that pulled me out, made me $562. A lot of times when I have days like even today, today, today is the 14th, I only had $62. A lot of times it's because my attention span just does not keep me in the day. I, it doesn't look good. And today is a wishy-washy day. I mean, so much movement yesterday, the market seems stale today. And I just, I just couldn't keep my attention. Um, now, that being said, last Friday, I did say that I was going to start a five-minute uh, evaluation account. I was going to open up an evaluation account and use it on the five-minute chart. And it's maiden voyage trade was today. And it made $550 on its first trade. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that in a minute because I've had several people ask me about that five-minute trade. And I've had a couple people message me going, holy shit, this works. Yeah, it actually does work. Uh, one guy messaged me, uh, thanks very much. Works like a charm. You may have just saved me. <laughs> well, be careful. And I'm going to go over that trade in detail here in a minute on how I look at that trade. Does it make me right? Does it make you wrong? Whatever. But how I look at that trade, I'm going to go over that that specific five-minute trade again in detail because it is the simplest one that I have in it. And, and by golly, today it had one that just blew right up for 10 points. I didn't take it, but it did blow right up for 10 points. Anyway, so let's talk about my results. The first month of my live funded trading account with Apex, which you know ran, you know, ran from the 15th of August to the 14th of September. I made $5,800 net of commissions. So net of commissions, my account balance is up 5,800 bucks. Again, it's with one contract, folks. Okay, it's 116 plus points. I say plus points because there was really more points than that because I had to pay the commissions on the trades to get me that money. But <clears throat> net commissions is 116 points on the ES with one contract. So 23 trading days, average was just over five points, five ES points a day. Again, I, I, I only trade in that narrow window. And I said in a video before, really haven't had anything from 8.30 to 9.30 in, in, in quite a while. Now today I did take one before before nine. Um, and it was my and it was my evaluation trade and it worked. But anyways, um, so that's $252 a day uh, net of commissions is what I've been getting. Now keep this in mind also when I say that. Those include my dick and dunk days. That, that includes, for example, Labor Day <clears throat> when I went in and just entered a trade and exited so it would count. Because remember I told you I have to have 25 trading days before I can request my first draw out of this account, which can only be two grand. So I have to have 25 trading days to get my first draw. I gotta have 10 trading days in the next month to get my second draw. So things start calming down, but 25, which is a lot of trading days uh, to even request your first draw. So anyways, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this. Uh, I have been very distracted in the month of September so far, trying to keep up with work. So, I mean, I'm still progressing forward. So I feel pretty good. I mean, so far in the first three days, I've made, let's see here, 150, 562, 62. But I still made $775 three in the three days of this month, of this week. You know, anyways, so... As long as I have at least one five-pointer in the next two days, it'll be another $1,000 a week, at least. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, so let me let me show you some stuff on, my, on this five-minute trade 
which was the maiden voyage trade of my new evaluation account that I told you guys I'm going to just keep. I'm going to keep that account just on that five minute chart and try to get through the $3,000 evaluation for 10 trading days um, and see if I can get that thing live as a, uh, as a trade, as a trade, uh, just off the five minute. Remember I used just one trade to get through the evaluation off the one minute. And I've used that same trade basically to get me this $5,800 since then. So in a month and a half, that, that, that little dick and dunk trade of, of one contract has accumulated uh, over $8,900, $8,900 if you take in the evaluation days of the 1st of August. So anyways, not bad. Now I've visualized $8,900 with say two contracts or say three contracts. Anyways, and, or, or, or more time to actually look at the stuff than I do. But anyways, all right, so let's go, let's go from here. I want to show you the charts, the five minute chart. Let's get this five minute chart up and running here. So here's my five minute chart. And I'm going to try to explain, because this is, somebody asked me today to explain again this five minute trade. Now this can be harder to explain it today because this darn thing just isn't. Today is today is one of those fishbowl days where the market's just not moving. But anyways, here's the trade I did take with my new evaluation account right here, that my new evaluation account, okay? You first, the first thing you're looking for is a crossover. So you're looking for price to cross over and have a space. You got to have some space in there. You got to have some thrust. And it's, there's a new pivot high right here. It broke this pivot here or this of all this garbage. This was news, by the way. It was news at 830. And this candle, these are five minute candles. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in them. This one broke up over. It came back down and bam, there was my long. I'm going to blow this up so we can see it better. Right here. There was my long. I entered two contracts with our new evaluation account at uh, at uh, thirty nine fifty six seventy five. Right there. This this was up a little higher. This thrust down pushed it down. But I so I was entering right here on the top of our overnight open. This candle came over. We went down about. I think it was a point and a quarter into, I took a point and a quarter of heat. And then this candle just blew right up. Um, we had some, I saw some topping going on and I just closed it out because I knew we were coming towards the open. So I said, forget it. So I closed it out at uh, 62.25, my two, my two contracts. And that was for 550 bucks. Not bad. But again, the key is it runs up and over. You got a crossover. Crossover is my favorite version of it. It crosses from one side of the red line to the other side of the red line. And the gold line just comes along and pushes it. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that first touch. Empty space. Empty space. First touch. Bam. Okay. I can't, I can't describe it any better than that. That's the best, that's the best case scenario, all right, of how that trade would work. So then you get the open. That's I got my little mark here, Oprah. So this none of this stuff matters. Don't even look at it. Da -da 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 -da. Then wait for the market to start trending again. Now I'll be honest with you. This one pushed down through the pivot and rolled back up and just slammed. If, if you had taken this one, you would have had a three-point loss. I mean, I, I don't even think you could have slowed that thing down. All right. So, but then it runs up. By the way, this candle right here, this, this, this candle. I'm gonna, this is kind of hard to explain what I'm about to tell you here. This was not there, meaning this was further down. It's because price pushed it up. This pullback never touched this gold this gold line. And even here, it's got a little bit of space. 
It's just got a little bit of space. It never touched. She never would have had a fill on this. This was never really a tested pullback. But it ran up and broke your pivot. I'm going to shrink this up again. Broke your pivot to the left. Okay. Pull back into your candle. And uh, this actual entry was right around 67 and a half. The, this, 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 you got to remember this yellow line is moving based off of price action all the time. When it, when this thing pulled back, the, the entry was about 67 and a half. Let's see here. It went through to 66 and a quarter. So that's, again, that's about another point and a quarter from your entry. And then wham, 77 and a half. It did it all in the same candle, right there. 77 and a half, right there. There's your 10 points, all in five minutes. And I mean, I if you if you if you pull up that time frame uh, on your one minute chart, you'll see the initial candle once it touched that yellow line. I mean, it just went green and long on the one minute chart. And that's it. That's your thrust. That's the reaction you're looking for. So. Let's talk about the next trade that I did take. Now, I went down to one contract. I was just going to try and, again, with my evaluation account, because we created a new pivot high. We had an open space over here. Over here, we had an open space. We came back and touched. I went long right there at the touch of that candle, which was 39.70. I went long right there. And this thing shot up about two, two and a half points right off that touch. I mean, it was like a reaction, rubber band. So I threw my stop at even, and then it rolled over and, and knocked me out at even. <clears throat> okay, so it didn't work. So the most important one is the first touch. And then, as I've said before, the more times it comes back and touches these lines, i.e. the more times you get a continuation trade like this, the more times you get a continuation trade like this, the more likely the follow-up ones are not going to work as well as the previous. This was a beautiful one. Just happened while we're sitting here talking. Just happened while we're sitting here talking. Uh, unbelievable. Just happened while we're sitting here talking. But it just ran right up. Pull back down. Here's your buy stop right there at 71. Boom, 76. There's your five points. I, I, I and and just so you can see, all this time frame, which is 12:49, is right over here, all above this red line. Okay. Now you're getting ready because this was a crossover. Just so you know. Now you're getting ready for a gold line trade, by the way. I mean, I'm not going to do it because it's 12.55 in the afternoon. But this is, where you're this is where you'd be looking for your gold line trade because you got space. It was a crossover. It broke your pivots. It's pulling back. That's your spot. And there will be a reaction there. There will be a reaction there. That I will tell you. There will be a reaction. And you can, you can manage your trade conservatively if you want when it hits that reaction. And also remember this. You don't have to take a three-point loss unless it literally rams right through you. Give you a perfect example. I'm going to give you a perfect example on this one. Look at this crossover, okay? Follow this one. Here's a crossover to the downside, okay? It crossed over to the downside, created this space, ran up here to this yellow line so you could be looking for a short, when this candle, so you're looking for a short at 66.25, okay? When this candle closed, this one, and opened up over here, you could drop your stop right there. Dude, you risked three ticks. You risked three ticks. So when the damn thing did run back up through you, you didn't lose any money. You didn't have to risk three ticks. I mean, three points. You can trade this. So let's, let's just watch this while it comes over here. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens if it comes down here and hits here. Let's just see if it reacts live while we're sitting here. I'm not. I mean, this is all live. I'm videotaping this. 
It is 12.55, so it's not the most ideal time to be sitting here looking at trades. And I'm not even going to attempt to take this. <sighs> Let's see here. Come on. Usually you can get like one big thrust down and then a, and then a reversal. But again, it is 12.55. Uh, come on. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. Pull down. Here, I'll drop this thing in uh, sim mode. And we'll do a buy. See if I can get a see if I can get a trade here. Just 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 just, just a sim one. Come on. Push down. Push down. Push down. Alright, now I'm in. Now the question is, will will it reverse? And there should be a reaction off that off that off that gold line, and and it's create okay. It's creating a it's creating a low. There you go. Come on. I know it's one fifty five, but let's do it. Come on. I know it's one fifty five, but let's do it. Here we go. There we go. There you go. It's it's a Christmas miracle. Look at that. It already look at that. It's a Christmas miracle, folks. You think I you think I ran the market? <laughs> Anyways, that's that. You got to see right here, live, right in front of me. Anyways, as I always say, practice. Well, that thing's still going up. Practice um, before you you know try anything, and if you got any questions or whatnot, you can message me and, uh, you know, good luck. I love, I, I love it when trades work. It's like, wow. I mean, holy shit. There it goes. Yeah. Like now you're up four and a half points. I mean, you know, there are, there are people that, that seriously wish they knew how to make three to five points a day in the ES like that. I mean, because there's there's a lot of money that could be made because it's a very liquid market. Anyways, um, holy cow, holy cow, there she goes, <laughs> there she goes, folks, there she goes. You think I make this stuff up? Holy cow, there you go. Anyways, have a nice day, and um. I got another little thing I'm going to do tomorrow on a video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.